Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a review on the Soft Glam uh, collection, palettes, bronzers, liquid lipsticks. Anastasia is life, okay? So, where to go? Okay, I'm already getting it dirty. Like, that's one thing about these palettes. Like, the packaging is so pretty. Like, I just wanna buy another one to like make it look pretty like on a shelf, but they get dirty so quick, but this is the baby. This is the newborn baby that we were all we were waiting for, and it finally came out of the oven, and it is everything in this world. This palette gave me the vibes. It gave me the feels. I will not put it down. Ever. So I went ahead and used this palette for the review. I also used their new liquid lipsticks and their new bronzers And of course I had to add the Omrisi glow the wave of illusion mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm really excited for you guys to see this video and my thoughts on it Letting you guys if it's truly worth it or not. So if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Valeria I should have said this at the beginning, but I get too excited talking about makeup. That's one thing you should know about me Yeah, yeah I'm obsessed, I'm a makeup junkie. If you guys wanna give up with me outside of YouTube, I am always active on Snapchat and Snapchat. I keep saying Snapchat, it's not the vibe right now. Let's just forget about Snapchat. The filters are dope though. I feel like if Instagram made the Snapchat filters, it's done deal. Done deal, Snapchat can literally like not exist. But you can follow me on Instagram, that is where I am most active. Twitter, on a good day I'm active on Twitter, but Instagram, faux show. I just hit 25K on Instagram and I am so freaking excited. I actually have goals like written out in my like planner and hitting 25k on Instagram was one of my goals for February so I'm telling you guys goals are effective goals work if you set goals you will make your dreams come true wow I should write a book shouldn't I <laughs> um, but seriously guys like it is so weird but it's so cool that like all the goals that I have been writing out on paper and I look at them every day like subconsciously, I make myself work harder until I achieve my goals, if that makes any sense. So if you guys want me to do a video on how I achieve my goals and all that jazz, and give you guys like a motivational like talk about that, then please let me know. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look right here using the new Anastasia Soft Grand Collection, then please keep on watching. <laughs> okay guys, let's go ahead and get started. I am so freaking excited. You guys have no idea. So this is the beauty right here. It is the same packaging as the Modern Renaissance palette and also the subculture palette. Really nice and soft and velvety. Once you open it, you are found with amazing stunning shades. They go from mattes to shimmers to satin colors. Some of the eyeshadows in here have been in eyeshadows before, like Impera was in the Modern Renaissance, Dusty Rose, Burnt Orange, Sienna, Cypress Umber, Neuer, and orange soda from what i remember these are all shades that were in previous palettes but this is what it looks like i am so excited to play with it i have really high hopes that it's the same formula as the modern renaissance palette and not a subculture or prism because that was like not really like a hit for them but this is the beauty right here all right so first we're gonna go in with the color orange soda i don't remember what palette this color was on but this shade right here it is the perfect transition shade of all times it has a tone of yellow and orange but it just blends really pretty into the island so i am taking that with the brush that it came with this is the only palette that i trust the brush that it comes with because the brush is actually pretty pretty good and i'm gonna start blending that orange soda all over my crease the eyeshadows are blending like a dream nothing crazy about the pigmentation or any controversy let's just not so any controversies for this palette, please and thank you. It is just so annoying how people just keep talking about the same subject over and over and over again. I'm gonna be showing you guys the fallout so far. This is the fallout from Orange Soda, where is it at? Right here. So it's very, very minimal. So no problems there, okay? As you guys can see, this color like by itself could also be really, really pretty just for like an everyday eyeshadow. Just put it on your crease and then color it a day. I'm gonna start when we got my crease a little bit more. So I'm gonna go in with the color. I'm gonna go with Rustic because I've never used Rustic before. I have used Burnt Orange and Sienna. So Rustic is this color right here, which, which is more of a lighter brown shade. And I'm also gonna be putting that onto the crease. So this one is not blending as smoothly. It's taking me a little bit of work, but nothing that can be done. But once you blend it, it looks really, really pretty. Okay, so on this eye, it's blending pretty nice. Maybe it was like that first layer. It can be kind of stiff sometimes, but it's blending really nice on the second eye. Taking in a little bit of burnt orange, I'm gonna soften up the edges. I mean, orange soda, I'm sorry, yes warmness come through I, for some reason i really want to dig into this mulberry reddish shade right here 
So I'm gonna be picking that up on a blending brush as well, just to intensify. Oh, this came out really, really pigmented, guys. And I barely put it on the eyeshadow. I'm gonna focus this on the outer part of my eye. This shade is everything. It is so matte, so pigmented, not patchy, and easy to blend out all the great qualities of a matte eyeshadow. You guys, look at all that pigment that I am putting on my eyelid, and even though it's a lot, just by topping off the brush and blending it into the crease, it just blends out like a dream. There's no, nothing wrong with this eyeshadow. I'm gonna be taking this smudger brush from the Anastasia um, brush and taking that same mulberry shade. I'm going to apply that on my lower lash line and connect it up to the eyeshadow. So now I'm gonna go in one of the shimmery shades because if I don't do that, then I'm not reviewing this right. So I wanna use all of them, but I wanna try this like sultry, purpley one right here. It has some purple and pink reflex in it. I'm just gonna swatch it with my finger. It is beautiful, baby. So I'm gonna be taking a flat brush and I'm going to moisten it with my setting spray. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some of the sultry shade. And I'm gonna start working that in the inner part of the eye. You guys, that is stunning. And I have literally no fallout under my eyes, which is amazing. Doing the same thing, picking it up on the brush. This time with the setting spray on top of the eyeshadow. Not that it makes a difference, but sometimes it does. So that's why I did it opposite this way. Now I'm taking this pencil brush and I'm going to go in with the color glistening right here, which is like a sheer gold shade right over here and i'm gonna be using this for the inner corner of my eyes and my brow bone i'm gonna spray it again with some spray Woo! wow this is stunning all right guys lashes are on mm -hmm. i am totally fitting myself right now what is this Oh, it's a pimple. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try out the bronzers. Today, I am trying out the saddle bronzer because it sounds like it could match me, you know? I'm taking in this Pure Cosmetics uh, brush. I really have been liking it for my bronzer. It applies it really nice and smoothly, so let's see. Ooh, that was a little dark. Not bad. Ooh. This might be a little dark for me. Oh, wait, pause. Maybe I went in with too much. The formula is good. I don't see any like problems with this bronzer. They apply like any other bronzers that I have. The color is really pretty. I just think that I went in too hard on this side right here because I just got too excited. The bronzer looks even. It doesn't look patchy on my skin. This side looks a lot better. Probably because I didn't go with a lot, you know, but yeah. This bronzer is really, really nice. I also picked up Rich Amber. But it looks more warm, so I think saddle is my color. So if you guys are planning to get it and you guys are kind of like my shade, then I recommend getting saddle. I'm gonna go ahead and set the face really quickly. For highlight today, I thought it was most appropriate for me to use the Amrissi highlighter. This is what it looks like. I wish that it had like a name. It's just called highlighter. Wavolution would wait, pause. I need to get. Wavolution would have been a great name for the highlighter, so I'm gonna be trying this on today. I already used it on a video, but who cares? I'm gonna use it every single video. You yeah, ready for this glow? Right here. Just sitting pretty on my cheekbone. Mm, I love a good nose highlight, guys. Also hitting the sides of my nose, because I like that. And then we're already here. My shoulder blade is asking to be highlighted. Like, don't you guys see that? Like, hello. Up next, I'm gonna go ahead and apply liquid lipstick. This is the newest uh, PR package for the liquid lipsticks for the collection as well. It ranges from like plummy colors, earthy browns, pinky reds, more like nude colors, orange brown, and then your cool tone blues. I really wanna try these out. I don't know why, but I really, really do. Uh, I'm planning on doing like a swatch video, so. So I'm gonna look out for that. But today, I'm gonna keep him on the neutral because that's what everybody likes. I'm just gonna swatch him and make a decision based on what they look like on my hand. You guys, how do these colors not scream like everyday nude lip colors? Like, oh, oh, oh. I die. 
Literally, I die. So first I'm taking the color mauve. This is one right over here. Let's go ahead and give it a swatch. Wow, this swatch glided on like a dream. You guys see how pigmented that is? That was just literally like one tiny swatch. The brush is like glided on. Up next we have the color bittersweet. This sounds like it's already made, but I don't know. This is more of a darker brownish plum color. This one right here is still really, really pretty. Oh my gosh. Up next we have the color malt, which looks like a good candidate for today's look. This one is more of a dark brown color right here, malt. And then last but not least, the color Hudson, which is already a color that they have. I don't know which one I want to do. I think I want to do the second one, this uh, purpley plum color, because I feel like it'll look really pretty with my eyes. So that is in the color Bittersweet. I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my lips right now. Guys, this formula is amazing. Like, I am done filling in my bottom lip. That is insane. Wow. I feel like a bronze soft glam goddess. <laughs> All right, tribe. Let's go ahead and get into like the reveal of this uh, video because I gotta tell you guys if it's worth it or not. Oh, so I am actually here on the website and the eyeshadow palette, it retails for $42. Pretty much the same price as the other palettes. I do think that if you were to put this one in the same category as the Modern Renaissance and you love the Modern Renaissance, you will love this palette right here. It has the same feel to where our shadows that you can do on an everyday basis. I feel like with Subculture and Prism, they were just not like an ideal eyeshadow palette for everyday use. And I feel like for the price, you're getting really good quality eyeshadow. So you're getting a versatile arrangement of options. You go from mattes to shimmers to satin finish and you have a lot of mattes as well. So if you're more of that matte girl, th this right here can be a palette on its own, honestly. And I really like it. I had no problem blending in my eyeshadows and I love it. I really, really do. I think it is worth it. Some of you guys might be scared to buy it because of all the controversies of the previous eyeshadow palettes, but you don't have to worry with this one because it is definitely an A+. Moving on to the liquid lipsticks, I think that there are so many shades like these ones, whether it's still from Anastasia Beverly Hills or from other brands that you might have. Are they a necessity? No. Color-wise, they're not really a necessity because there's so many of these colors that they already have. But if you guys haven't tried their liquid lipsticks, the formula is everything. I think that is the main thing that keeps me drawn to like wearing these a lot because I do have other colors that look similar to this one and they're probably cheaper. But just the formula and the long wear and how it feels on your lips, that is why you're paying 20 bucks, I believe, for the liquid lipsticks. Let's see real quick. Where was I at? Yeah, they're $20, so for $20, you're getting a good, long-lasting liquid lipstick. The shades are unbelievable, amazing. I recommend going to a store, though, and swatching them for yourself instead of buying them, like, at Ulta or Sephora because they look different on, a on every skin tone, every undertone. So if you're planning on buying one of these lipsticks, then go ahead and do so at your local Sephora or Ulta. This shade right now, Bittersweet, it looks lighter in the packaging, and it's totally dark but if you guys like this shade get it because it is that pretty shade that you can wear on a nighttime look daytime look or you know every day if you want but the formula is everything now the bronzers I think that they were really high quality bronzers is it a necessity no, there's plenty of other bronzers out there that can probably perform as good as this one But I think what'll make it or break it for me would be the price. So let me see how much they are per um, Bronzer, okay, so it's $28 for a bronzer compared to the benefit hula Which is almost 30 or I think the same price you are getting probably more product out of this bronzer right here And it is still a really good quality bronzer You can also compare it to the Nars Laguna bronzer, which I don't know how much it retails pause, please I'm gonna and let you guys know if it's worth it hold on one second all right guys so let me give you like a really good example on why this is a really good buy for a bronzer 
even though it's on the high-end side. So the Nars Laguna bronzer that everybody loves and adores, I have it, I love it so much. It retails for $40 and it comes with 0.28 ounces. This one right here retails for $28 and it comes with 0.35 ounces. So that is a no-brainer. If you guys are looking to invest, oh pause. Let me look at the let me look at the hula one. This is fun. This is fun comparing like prices and like you know ounces and stuff i could always just pull them from my vanity but i don't want to like walk over there so i'd rather just do it on my phone okay so the hula matte bronzer is 29 dollars. this one still retails for 28 which is a steal and it comes with 0.28 ounces this one is 0.35 ounces so i think the verdict is set on these are totally worth it if you guys are looking for a really good high-end bronzer that's good quality it's not gonna look patchy on you this looks amazing like now that i'm really looking at it some bronzers or some contour kits leave my skin or leave my bronzers or contour a little muddy and i did the same routine with my face i didn't do cream contouring either so you guys know that i always do that before applying my bronzer but i applied it strictly onto my foundation with powder and you guys see it's all nice and blended beautifully i didn't even need to put on blush because i feel like these bronzers pull a little bit of red into them because i looked through all of them to see this one would match me and they all have like this kind of reddish undertone and that's so cool tone like hula from benefit so i feel like if you're also not a blush girl and you love to bronze you can oh, pause let me fix myself you can really get away with just wearing this bronzer and it gives you the warmest prettiest complexion so that's also a steal for me let me know if you guys like this kind of reviews i like that it went in depth with each and every one of the products and i feel like it's really helpful for you guys for me to talk so much in depth about the products so let me know if you guys like this video and the whole review and let me know if i should do more of these videos so please give it a thumbs up and also if you love my makeup look oh i really am obsessed I really am. As always, I will have all the product that I listed and mentioned down below along with the links so you guys can go ahead and check them out for yourself. And I will also have the names of the products that I use for reference if you guys do want to get the same ones or if you guys want to keep it in mind to swatch on at the store. Let me know that in the comments when you guys started this video. Let me know if you guys have purchased the products. Let me know if you're excited about the collaboration. If you have mixed feelings about it, let me know. I love talking to you guys down in the comments. That is it for today, guys. I love you so much. Mucho besito. Y abrazos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs> what? Bye, guys. <laughs>